Nicholas Smith, reporting from the Soul Home Warehouse here in Denver, Colorado. I want to talk to you today about what is living soil. And living soil is a little bit different than your traditional way of growing with salt-based nutrients, whether you're using a liquid base or a dry uh, salt-based amendment. And traditionally, these chelated nutrients are just allowing all of the micro and macro nutrients to be readily available to the plant and having it uptake immediately. What happens with living soil is we do a little bit different where we can use the same growing mediums, minus rock wood to use it as our base, but we can use coconut core, we can use peat. But the foundation of it is really using worm castings, vermicompost. You can use other compost mixes. What we do at Sohum is we use vermicompost and we use a combination of macro and micronutrients that are coming from all different kinds of plant and animal byproducts, whether it's kelp mill, bone mill, these types of things. Um, we're using um, azomite, uh, these different kinds of minerals. And what's, what we're doing is they're not chelated, meaning they're not really available to the plant to uptake. So what we've done is through that vermicompost, as well as some other proprietary beneficial bacteria and fungus like mycorrhizae that you guys are aware of, bacilla species, these things, we have put this into the soil along with a lot of the nematodes and other great things in that worm castings to really come and chelate the food in the soil for the plant. Meaning these microbes, these, these uh, bacteria as well as the fungus, we're going to eat all of this food we put in there from the plant-based and the animal byproducts. They're going to eat all that material up. When they poop it out, it's called an exudate. That's gonna make this now chelated, all that food, the macro micronutrients that they've chewed up, making that readily available for the plant to uptake. So in a nutshell, that's what living soil is. We are allowing what Mother Nature has been doing outside for thousands and thousands and millions of years and millennials and replicating that into a soil. So it's no different than what we're doing with a liquid-based fertilizer, making that readily available. We're just using a different approach to get that chelation process to happen by using microbes to chew those stuff up, poop it out, and make it readily available to eat. That's Loving Soil. Stay tuned, we've got more content coming to you.